Hi ladies and girls, as I promised, this whole video will be about mascara. Yes, the complete video, because, you know, I'm still looking for the perfect one and I am quite complicated about mascara because um, I have got a ton of meat, like um, a good black pigmentation that um, a mascara should not damage my lashes or, you know, a nice definition or long lasting a long lasting mascara like during the day and uh, the product itself and um, yeah you know my lashes are quiet unvisible uh, without mascara so I really need one and I'm not I'm not a girl who uses like brown mascaras or anthracite or something like this I only want the blackest black mascara and um, yeah I have got a few products here to show and I'm sorry and I only want to share my thoughts about them okay so I begin with um, the L'Oreal ones because me and L'Oreal mascaras have got a really curious relationship together <laughs> that means um, I used once the telescopic mascara and I thought that this is the best mascara for me ever but after using it a while I noticed that one day <laughs> my lashes were completely gone, cut off, damaged, everything. So, um, you know, I had to repair that and um, after a while I began to use um, other L'Oreal ones like the Voluminous or like the Volume Million Express and the same thing happened. So it's really, you know, I don't really like that and um, you know I can't throw away every single mascara which I bought so I begin to use um, a repairing base by Alvete and this is principally a dual ended mascara but I don't use this black part I only use this white part and it looks like this it's really cheap like for euros and um, it's a repairing base as I said and with this I'm able to use the, the L'Oreal mascaras too. Well, a few words about them. You know, everybody knows them. It's a, the L'Oreal, the voluminous one, as a liquidy mascara with a nice black pigmentation. But I miss, I miss effects like curling or length or real volume. So not really there. They are not really there, but it's still a nice everyday mascara and, uh, you know, it's also not that expensive, like 6 euros, so um, I think generally it's not a bad product, but I have got these special products with those L'Oreal mascaras, I don't know what it is. Well, um, the other one is this, um, as you know, everybody knows it, this um, volume, uh, this millionizing mascara, and yes, it really does millionizing the lashes for me but um, you know my lashes look even shorter with this mascara which is quite funny so I only use the volume million lashes with another mascara together so these were the L'Oreal ones um, I have gonna got um, a few other drugstore ones like um, the Maybelline Yade Volume Express in Black Drama with these ornaments and it has got this funny applicator like this and my first impression was with this mascara like I adored those feminine cat eye winged lashes I adored it but I still have problems with this mascara like um, I don't know if it's visible but no it's not but normally this mascara has got like tiny little hairs in it and it's really annoying me and the second problem is that is unfortunately that it, that um, it melts on my eyes I don't know why after three hours I have got like sunglasses on me so um, it's really a pity make this a little bit more long-lasting and um, take those hairs away and it's a really perfect mascara but it is unfortunately not at the moment 
well, um, generally I tend to buy um, more quality or high-end mascaras because with those um, drugstore ones I made the impression that they are only for four weeks and that was it. And you know, for a um, Maybelline mascara you also have to pay your 10 euros and a clinic uh, mascara begins uh, I think with 20 euros so um, and a clinic mascara you can use for a month. Um, by the way, um, at the clinic mascaras I really missed the black pigmentation so they weren't that black for me but they were almost almost perfect. Um, currently I use this one. This is by Makeup Factory and it's the product of our um, perfume what is it perfume house and drugstore together and these this product line itself it's a semi professional or expensive drugstore product I don't really understand uh, somehow um, however um, this mascara costs about 15 euros and it is it is their full intense mascara and I think it's really a great packaging. I adore, you know, those um, expensive looking packaging. Um, and the brush looks like this. This is what I use today. And I'm sorry. Okay. And I don't know how to think about this mascara now because I only use that for five times, six times and, um, you know, I, I have to wait a little bit and use a little bit more but um, I think it has got really a great black pigmentation and you know this is what I want a little definition and nice lashes it doesn't melt I think I hope <laughs> it doesn't melt really and um, yeah this is what I want but um, let me wait a few months and then I'll tell you how I think about it um, I don't know did I show you the Pupa? No. <laughs> this is the Pupa uh, Ultra Fax Extra Black Mascara. This is the high-end one, which I own at the moment. And this is already all dried in, so um, I have got only a few mascara which I really can use. And the brush looks like this. And I always say, if you haven't ever tried this mascara, you don't know what black lashes are. Because it's the blackest mascara I ever tried and I'm really crazy about that. Still I have got some problems with it like um, it makes the lashes hard which is partly good and partly not because you know you apply it once uh, in the morning and you don't have to care about it the whole day long and it doesn't um, damage my lashes or something but you know I don't really like if my lashes are hard. And the other thing is, I didn't use that longer than um, two months or something and you know, that was 20 euros so um, I still, still think that it's uh, one of my, you know, number one or number two mascaras, I don't know, <laughs> you know. It's a really great product, uh, as I've said, um, this is the Pupa Ultra Flex. Um, extra black mascara. I really, really adore it. Well, uh, what else? I've got... Oh my god, where are my... There. I've got a um, few drugstore ones um, more, like the Catrice Lashes to Kill. Only a few words. It does quite nothing. It's good for every day or for the gym or I don't know, but um, I miss, you know, length, volume, but it doesn't melt at all and it has got also a nice um, formulation like, you know, non-damaging or something, but um, it's, it's not, it's not the very best mascara ever. Then my greatest found, uh, find ever was last year my Essence mascaras and um, I always thought that the label Essence is for, let me say, children or something because sometimes the packaging is so childish. But somehow I began to use um, mascaras 
And I begin with the Black Mania because it's called Carbon Black. It's not Carbon Black, but I think this mascara um, for 2 euros, blah blah blah, is really comparable with, um, with Clinique mascaras because of, um, how should I say, the formulation is so moisturizing. Um, it's such a lovely effect, you know, nothing dramatically, but, um, but really a nice mascara, I think. And it doesn't melt really on me, and I could use that for months, you know. I always thought, okay, I still have got some product, I still have got some product, and it's really a ridiculous that I um, found mascaras for under 3 euros which are that great and um, you know it was a great surprise <coughs> then I have got a mascara only for fun called Deep Purple and I use it only with um, um, with a black mascara together like a topping so um, you know it's only like um, a reflecting of purple it's such a lovely purple and I think for green eyes it's sometimes really a nice effect and my I think favorite mascara I don't know if it's the Pupa one or this one it's the Essence I Love Extreme which everybody is talking about and it, it looks like this it has got this mustard brush so it's the version of uh, you know using it after five weeks because I made the experience that I cannot use it longer than four weeks because you know you can see what happens <laughs> but these first four weeks are great um, you get the most bombastic lashes really Oh my god, like false lashes with length and with volume and with a nice black pigment as so it's not that black but it's okay. But the effect is so dramatically for under three euros. I cannot believe that I'm happy with Essence mascaras, but I am. And by the way, look at this. <laughs> this is probably the reason why, don't you think? Well, um, okay, these were my mascaras. Thank you very much for watching. But I have um, got a um, quick tip for you because um, I started to use um, coconut oil in extra virgin quality for my hair and body. And finally, um, somebody has told me, I think, that I should use it for my lashes in the evening for repairing. And I begin with that and I think it's a quite good idea so if you have also got problems with um, damaged lashes or dry lashes um, this coconut oil is you know it's always like hard like non-liquidy but if you put oh, if you put a tiny little bit, little bit on your finger and uh, leave it melt and then you can apply as a liquidy a fluidy oil on your um, lashes. I think it's a quite nice thing. It smells great so um, I think um, it creates fun for you. Um, please um, leave me some comments because I'm really curious about your experiences with mascara. Which are your favorite ones? Which are your no-go no -go mascaras or your um, other ideas or something? Thank you very much for watching and um, I will be there for you soon because um, I want to make a contest, you know, someday <laughs> if I have got the time. Thank you very much for watching once again and bye, have a nice day.